Good evening. I'm Ron Burgundy. Welcome to our special Samantha Smith Challenge edition. We're going to start off first with the Joker. Hello, this is the Joker speaking to you from Mr. J's classroom. Connie Carter came to Team Fox and talked to the wretched children about the Samantha Smith Challenge. Miss Smith influenced our relationship with the Soviet Union by writing a letter to the leader of Russia. I don't know how a little tyke from Maine could contact the leader of Russia. The Samantha Smith Challenge challenges the people of the world to take action in their own issue. And that's just what Team Fox did. Back to you, Ron. Ha ha ha. Oh, wow. Uh, that happens more often than you would think. Wow. Uh, up next, we have Sheldon and Batman. I'm Batman. And I'm Sheldon. Team Fox held a community panel where people from the Penobscot Nation, Police Department, and the School Administration told us about problems and challenges in the community. Team Fox used those problems and challenges and turned them into what they wanted to do for action in the community. Team Fox chose poverty. Let's go back to the Batcave, Sheldon, a.k.a. Leonard Middle School. I meant Batcave. Back to you, Ron. Thank you. We are going to send it towards a Lava Girl now. Hi, this is Lava Girl reporting from Miss Nesson's room. We had people come in from Penquist and Peace Corps to talk about poverty. Renee Muscatel talked about what poverty is like. Miss Hasselbrock, Denise, and Aaron St. Peter talked about worldwide poverty. We also had Melissa Huston talk about poverty in Maine in countries and international poverty. I hope that shined a light on this issue for you. I'm back, and Team Fox has been working on researching poverty using online resources, videos, and an online game. Over to you, Robin Hood. Hello, I'm Robin Hood. We went to several different places in the community to help feed and preserve food at places such as Bangor Area Homeless Shelter, Seeds of Hope, and Man of Ministries. To you, Superwoman. I'm Superwoman. Some of the super activities that Team Fox participated in at Bangor Area Homeless Shelter was prepare, cook, and serve a spaghetti dinner for the people that came. At Man and Ministries, we volunteered to sort pasta and pasta sauces into boxes to be served and distributed. At Seeds of Hope, people helped distribute food and products to give out to people. Back to you, Ron. Thank you. And now we go to the Riddler. Riddle me this, Batman. What is warmly cheap at first but chillingly expensive in the end? Give up? It's not insulating your house. Team Fox made box houses, and even with them to the brim filled with insulation, they only got up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Give or take. But I know what some of you are thinking out there. Cardboard is a lot thinner than actual house walls. So who needs insulation? But is that really that okay? That's not a riddle I'd like to figure out. This is Catwoman, breaking news, an LMS we've recently been writing. <coughs> Ew, hairball. <clears throat> anyway, we were writing perfect articles for the school newspaper. Some of the topics include poverty, animal abuse, depression, coping with death, stereotypes, drug and alcohol abuse, and more. We plan on writing an article for Community Connections explaining all that they've done. There will be more on this developing story as information becomes available. Back to you, Ronald. I uh, hate when she calls me that. And we have one more story for you tonight, this one coming from Leonard Middle School in Old Town. They are writing letters to their legislators about the elimination of main school performance grading system, the rejection of federal health care funding, and taxation of the wealthy. And that's all we've got for you tonight. Now you stay classy, planet Earth. <laughs>